Oh, hey guys! You're probably wondering, Jordy, you look so good. Well, that's because I got a new haircut. But that's probably not why you're here. You're here because we're gonna do some Christmas. I know it's way too early, but that's not our fault. That's Kevin Perry's fault, who made this very cool stop motion kind of video with, you know, Christmas. We got the Christmas tree, we got the presents and everything. So that's what we're going to recreate today and show you guys how it's done. Welcome to Copycat. Ah, why is there a ball on my face? Luckily, it's just one ball, not... Uh, there are two balls in my face! It's still November, Jordy! Shut up, Timo! Party pooper. As you can see, Kevin Perry is standing in a white living room completely decorated. And as you probably noticed, this is not it. So we need to build our own living room and get some decorations for the set. As we're setting up the lights, guys, I quickly want to talk a little bit about the Amaran P60C. Aperture is not sponsoring this video, but they did send us this light and we've been using it for a couple of months now and I've been really enjoying it so far. So in a nutshell, this is a full color LED light. It is super small, super lightweight and has 60 watt output, which is very bright as you can see. It comes with this very nice softbox as well, which you obviously can take off and it runs on the same software as all of the other aperture lights and that means that you get user presets you basically get a whole library of gels there are even effects in there for example cop car which is really awesome so it will simulate that you can also battery power the light through sony and peace it's not my favorite choice i would prefer v mounts more but hey it's sony and it does make it more compact and more lightweight i guess now here comes the coolest thing guys built in we get Cytus link which is kind of a dmx thingy uh, it's built in that means that you only need to install the Cytus link app which allows you to control the light so i can just kind of like dim it like that i can change the color temperature i can select the color from here anything that i like i can also do that within the Citus Link app. And if you have more aperture lights, you can combine them together, create scenes, create shows, create a whole bunch of cool stuff with these lights. So definitely worth checking out, guys, the Aperture P60C. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Right now, we're going to use it as a backlight because it's pretty bright over there on top of the walls. Why does Jordi have so many Christmas hats? It's the first time ever that I'm decorating a tree. Do you want to see my ball? No, I don't think so. It's a Janik ball. I see what you did there. Look, we even have Lorenzo balls. He looks so young. Santa approved. We know it's early, but decorating our set with Christmas stuff really got us in the holiday mood. And you know what that means? Creating Christmas videos! However, with all our deadlines, we of course want some help with this. And that's where Storyblocks, our sponsor for today's video, comes in. With their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can always find something you desire. From HD to 4K footage, After Effects templates, Premiere Pro templates, music, images, sound sound effects and much more, like for example Christmas overlays or everything Christmas related. Now everybody who knows us knows that we love using Storyblocks, they really help us to bring stories to life without sacrificing time, budget or resources. They always have something we can use in our projects. Here in our country where our studio is, we have almost no snow, so snowy shots is difficult to shoot for us. But no worries, Storyblocks has our back with countless snowy stock assets for us to pick from. And you can too with your affordable subscription plan that fits your budget. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited access plan. So that means creating thousands of unique Christmas videos for 
everyone you know for only one single price per year. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click on the first link in the description below. Let's talk business and show how you can recreate this effect. The first thing you need to know is that the main principle is masking and a lot of it. So much that we have been masking for days now and we don't know which year it is. What year is it? But besides masking, we do have some tips for you. First things first, like you saw, we built a set. Here we use very soft lighting and there's a reason for it. Try to avoid hard shadows, definitely on the walls. Hard shadows need to be masked precisely, while soft shadows can be masked roughly and can be feathered to match the scene. So make them nice and soft. A second important aspect is shooting every action separately. A box sliding in is one shot, the garlands dropping in are also a separate shot, and so on. Even though we're shooting every action separate, once we start recording, we don't touch the camera. Don't. So you can imagine to pull this off we're going to need some preparations. That's why we have a battle plan. Of course we start with our talent acting their part. And a tip, let them do multiple takes. But again, never touch the camera. This way we will have some choice in post production. Then when the talent is done, we can start with the separate shots of our decorations. And here we had a specific order. We work from the back to the front. This way we could leave the objects within our scene once they moved in. And also strategically place certain certain objects to cover up difficult transitions or places where we thought mistakes could happen. To start we have the wall decorations and for two of them we did a practical animation. The golden garland on the right wall was attached to some fishing wire and on a certain queue we just dropped it in. Easy as that. This way it doesn't need any post animation. The bear hanger is similar. We held it up and dropped it. <coughs> giving it a natural dropping motion, motion blur and sway on the end. However, we do give it a scale animation from 0 to 100 to make it appear. Now for the silver garland hanging on the left wall, we couldn't really do a practical animation. So we had to do this in After Effects with a simple mask, position animation and a wave warp effect to give it extra motion. However, what we did do to really sell the effect was giving the garland a good shake. This we only use on the end of the animation. The most tricky part of the entire effect was the card or a box where the Christmas tree jumps out. The box is standing there and then needs to fold completely open. To achieve this we worked in stages. First we had our box and filled it with weights. Then attached some fishing wire to the flaps of the box. And this way we could open them off screen. Once rigged we did our thing and shot the box standing there opening up on cue. Then the hard part, making it completely go open. Of course we did each side separate. Starting with the right side, we cut that loose. And basically held it upright and dropped it in. And this we did for every side. Eventually we had to remove the weights as they were visible in the shot. And on this very moment you need to be super careful. One small movement can ruin the box effect and you will need to do it again. And now for the post production. You can compare it to a jigsaw puzzle. Every flap is masked separately. Next we combine the regular flaps opening up and the cutout flaps. We looked for a point where the angle matched for both of them and here we simply made a jump cut. And that's how we create puzzles here at Cinecom. For the Christmas tree we first placed an indicator on the floor so we would know where our box originally was. Then remove the box and place the Christmas tree. At the start we don't have presents underneath it and again use our practical shaking technique. Next we added the presents. Now in post production we want to scale our tree. So first we need to rotoscope the tree to single it out. Once done we animated the scale and used the hard cut to the practical shaking tree. For the shadow we actually didn't use the real one as it was impossible to animate in. We just used the duplicate of our Christmas tree layer with a tint effect to make it black and white. A fast box blur to blur it, lower the opacity and change the blending mode to multiply. There you go, an easy shadow technique. Oh yeah, the presence we simply masked out and created a slide animation coming in from the left to right. Okay, now the flipping boxes and they are quite easy. We first made sure that the lid of the box and a present were more or less the same color. This is needed to eventually transition from box to present. So now that we have our red box lid and a present, it's time for the shot. We have our box standing in position and we just flipped it forward. Once on the ground, we placed our present against it and removed the box. Then added more presents behind our first one and now it's just a matter of hitting them so they fly around. Easy as that. In post production, again mask everything separately and for the transition from box to present we simply use an opacity fade and a small color grade adjustment and that's it. The very last part of the effect are the blanket on the couch and the mini tree. And they are the easiest of them all. The blanket is actually a reversed layer. So originally the blanket 
was just laying there and we slowly pulled it back. Then an After Effects reversed it. The Mini 3 is a simple scale and rotation animation. But here we actually encountered a hiccup. At first we had nothing standing on the table, so our Mini 3 appeared out of thin air, which was looking kind of weird. Then we looked back at Kevin Perry's video and saw that his tree appeared from behind the Amazon Alexa. So that's why we quickly reshot a mug standing on the table, giving the Mini 3 something to hide behind. And that's the breakdown on how we recreated this insanely good effect from Kevin Perry. Hey Janik, start masking. And now it's time to unwrap all of these Christmas presents. Look, a box. There's a lot more to go here. Anyways, in the meantime, guys, definitely check out the video here on my left, which is actually a recreation of Home Alone. Even Film Ride is in that video and Sylvester Stallone, but that's with some deep fakes. Definitely check out that video and don't forget to subscribe to see us every single week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. And as always, stay creative. Now give me all the presents.